Egypt and most people think of pyramids, the Sphinx and chaotic bustling streets but there's another side to Egypt that's far more geared towards fun and relaxation. Morocco is a country that makes you feel welcome at the moment you step off the plane thanks to friendly people and a temperate year-round climate. It's fascinating and it's bewildering. It's a country of contrasting images, colourful sights, exotic smells and best of all, memorable experiences. Hello, now are you just desperate to escape for a few days and leave the working world behind? Well, if you are, why not book with us and get away from it all to Dublin with today's City Break. Welcome to Antiques Ghost Show. This superb 19th century mansion behind me is about to witness a paranormal investigation. Our team of experts have been denied all access to the heirlooms and indeed the people that own them. In just a few minutes, Derek will begin his psychic reading. So, let's get a sneak preview of what's in store. Derek associated lots of royalty to the picture. Do you think the man in the portrait might be royal? Do you think there might be some blue blood in this investigation? No, I, I don't think so. Oh, Anne, I thought you were going to say oh, yes. I was well, rubbing I my hands there. Yeah. William knocks on the chest, apparently, <laughs> to, to draw your attention. <laughs> We sent out a woman on the loose, Nina Sebastian, to find out your best sicky excuses. We're asking people, have they ever thrown a sicky from work? You know the kind of thing, uh, hello, uh, uh, I'm not very well, I don't think I'll be in today. <laughs> Here's what they said. Have you ever thrown a sicky from work? No, I have not. I'm late for work. You're late for work? Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, we better let you go then. Back to oh. you girls. What's the wackiest thing you've ever done? Jumped out of a plane at 10,000 feet. On purpose? On purpose, when I could have gone with the plane to the ground quite safely. <laughs> what did it feel like? Fantastic. The adrenaline rush is magnificent. Almost better than sex. <laughs> that can't be bad. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your host, Nina Sebastian. Thank you. Hello. My goodness, what a loud audience. Hello, thank you, and welcome to see you the world's only truly interactive dating game. Now, the rules are quite simple. As always, we've got three girls and three boys, and after two voting sessions, we end up with one winning couple. So, does she come across very confident to you? Very confident. Who do you think she's going to go for? I think she's going to go for, or she should go for Morgan. It's obvious. They don't have to spend more time thinking about it. Why? Just go out. What's so special about Morgan? Welcome back to Prague for the 2001 Czech Speedway Grand Prix. Now, we started off with 24 riders. We now have just eight. Here's Sam and Ben. Tony Rickardson, many, many congratulations. Fourth time world champion. How does it feel? It can't be much better than this. Now, the crowd have just carried you through today, haven't they? Yeah, they sure did. Well, what do you know? in the top three. Next one out is Denmark with the Danish GP at Boyen. We'll see you then. Hi and welcome back to Ski America. We're still in Lake Louise and no ski holiday travel show would be doing its job properly if it didn't tell you about where you can stay while you're here. Here's a few options. 45% of all the runs at Lake Louise are intermediate or advanced beginner. And what you'll notice is that on the left side of the mountain, everything's left a bit more bumpy and a bit more mogul. On the right side, however, it's smoother and easier to get down. So pick your way down the mountain and go for it. And here he is, the man himself. OK, I think something's happening. We're at the Tate Modern. What's happening, Nina? Ian. Well, good news is we're here. We've made it in time, but the bad news is we've only got two of the three potential keys. So hopefully we have the winning key here. One of you might walk away with the cash. If you've picked the wrong keys, then both of you go away with nothing. Try and persuade him, right, to come play for Stoke. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> did you hear that, Righty? Yeah, I did. It's all, it's all, he's got me all moved. He's touched me. What do you think? Would you play for Stoke? Yes, I would. Fingers crossed for you and Kate. Maybe this can go towards a wicked, wicked wedding. So try that in that lock. Thank <laughs> you. 